Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, made an episode yesterday talking about Arsenal uh, more and more done deals. Well, we really have uh, an interest of Arsenal for um, Eduardo Camavinga. Real Madrid and uh, Carlo Ancelotti have responded to that. We are going to talk about that. Not only that, we are going to talk about um, <clears throat> uh, a lot of things uh, like Spezia manager talking about Jakub Kivio. And of course, of course, Ray Pala wants us to sign some more players. Lalana firing shots at Leandro Trashad. More stuff coming your way. So stay tuned and if you seek regular Arsenal content, the best place to be, consider subscribing. And let's just move on to the first news that we've got. So the first news is, of course, um, uh, Simon Collings says that Arsenal are interested on a loan move for Eduardo Camavinga during current transfer window. Unclear if Real Madrid would sanction it, but player has struggled for minutes recently. Declan Rice, still number one summer transfer target for the midfield for Arsenal. So, Declan Rice to Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking about big moves, big strides in the summer. How are we going to get it that done? I don't know. But yes, we are going to talk about it and we better, better talk about it. Spezia manager uh, confirms Jakub Kivior is, has left the club and, uh, well... Give you away. I can't be happy, but they are football things, says Luca Gotti. He says they are things of football, things of the reality of what happens and the ability of the fact to surprise us and to which we have to react. So he was asked that a lefty is missing how to replace Kivior and Nikolao. He says, it's not a problem to make up for the absence. The problem is the, in the absence of the two players and Zola. You have to change things that were working. You found lines and playing times. But changing the player changes the characteristics and you don't have much time to prepare the appropriate things for how I see football compared to a match as important as the uh, one against Roma. <clears throat> So, looks like Gotti is Luca Gotti, the manager of Spezia, is not happy. But hey, that's what football is, and I think I'm pretty much sure that he has accepted that. Well, moving on, uh, talking about <coughs> real stuff. Uh, Carlo Ancelotti has completely uh, ruled out Eduardo Camavinga's move to Arsenal. He says something that Arsenal fans would not like at the moment. He says that we will not let Camavinga. Did I say Kamalinga? Sorry. Kamawinga leave. He's untouchable like Modric and Tony Cruz. So, looks like he's untouchable at the moment. So, let's talk about Eduardo Kamawinga's agent, Joshua Barnett. Says that there, there are no truth about uh, 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 him going to Arsenal. <clears throat> he says, there's no truth. Of course, every club in the world would want him. But he's very happy in Real Madrid and Real Madrid are very happy with Camavinga. So, there goes your rumor <coughs> shot right in the middle of the eye. So, yes, no way. Arsenal are going to get their man. But shots fired at Leandro Trochard. But first, let's talk about uh, the defender, Diamonde, that was linked to Arsenal. So, yes, Diamonde was linked with Arsenal. We're going to talk about him for a brief moment of time so <clears throat> according to bruno andrade uh, he says that arsenal considered buying diamonde and soon after loaning to uh, soon after they wanted to loan him to sporting possibility however no longer exists arsenal are now working on different fronts for the young center back very interesting stuff coming your way and here is ivan fresneda it looks like his agents were were at colney last week according to Charles Watts. Yes, that's the update. That's the headline. Arsenal third signing Ivan Fresneda's agents were at London Colney. Moving on, uh, um, uh, Martin Norregard says uh, he spoke about how he's been, uh, you know, how the basketball celebration came into existence. He says to explain the basketball celebration is just something we have talked about in the team. We have some principles in the team and the way we work and there is one thing uh, we do that we think is similar to basketball. <clears throat> Let's see how things will turn out. 
by the way luca bendoni has confirmed jakub kivior has landed in london um private jet from pizza he'll undergo medical study with arsenal 25 million euros deal 5.5 years contract so let's see also uh, adam lalana has fired a parting shot at Trashard. He says you only need to look at the last three results without him. 5-1, 4-1 and 3-0. Players can leave Brighton but we've got enough without them. We had enough without Bissouma, Kukurea, Ben White, Dan Byrne when Neil Mopay moved on. So if Leo moves on, we'll cope. We are coping already. Well, amen to that. By the way, Jakub Kivior has landed in London, but it looks like he is set to seal his move. Yes, but according to Polish journalist Tomasz Lordarczyk, I hope I, I pronounce that in the right way, he says that Kivior will sit with Edu and his close ones at the game for the United game. Yes, Arsenal are still waiting for the confirmation on whether Trushard can make his debut against United, <clears throat> but that only time will tell. Ray Pala says winning the Premier League this season would rank with the achievements of the Invincibles era. He says, I would be so over the moon if they won it this year. It would be a massive achievement for Mikel Arteta. At the start of the season, I thought getting in the top four would be great. I would never have put them where they are at the moment. There's still a long way to go. There's a, there are lots of big games to come. And if you get one bad result or a couple of injuries, things can change really quickly. I'm not going to get carried away. But it's great to see Arsenal back to competing. If they can somehow win the league this year, it would be right up there with the achievements that we managed back in our era. Also, he says that Arsenal or Mikel Arteta's side should actually make a cheeky bid for Yuri Tielemans. Already? Yep, he spoke to Lord Ping. He says that uh, Arsenal need another midfielder as backup to Xhaka and Partey. And I know Tielemans was mentioned in that midfield area. He's very different to Partey. I know Partey is very good at winning the ball back, very similar to Petit and Gilberto Silva. So it's a bit off of a defensive midfielder, but obviously good on the ball as well. That can make things happen. With Tielemans, he doesn't have long left in his contract, so Arsenal can put a little cheeky bid in. But at the same time, Leicester has their own problems fighting a relegation battle and does not want to go down because they lost their best players. Let's see whether that is going to work or not. So, uh, huh. let's see how that things will turn out to be. I'll see you in the next one and you have a wonderful evening. Arsenal versus Manchester United next. Let's hope for the best. Cheers.